Today, I wanted to go over how to create custom select states. Now, you may be asking yourself, what the heck does that mean? So Flutterfill provides you a few different ways to select objects, like a list of strings, let's say. Dropdowns, choice chips, those are pretty much the options. They don't work for every single, well, checkboxes, sorry, checkboxes, um, yeah, so tile switches, uh, these things that you can toggle on and off, essentially. Um, but really, drop downs and uh, choice chips allow you to multi select. So, in the chat design, in the chat flow in Flutterflow, we provide a custom option. And what we're doing is we're utilizing, right, this beautiful design where you can select multiple things, multiple people. We have a number that goes up. And then you can add those things to a list of objects, right? These things are being added to a list. How are we doing this? We're doing it through component state. Let's dive in. Okay, so here I have a page, okay? You can do this in a component as well. I do this in components quite often. And what you want in, a, in your component is you want, and in, in case this is a page, you want a list of something, right? In this case, a list of users. So I'm going to add users to my chat, okay? This users, these users are gonna be document references. So whenever I select something, I'm using a checkbox title, you don't need to, you can use a container if you would like. Um, we, are, we are actually saying, look, when this, we're, we have a list of users here, okay? You're always gonna be dynamically, or mostly you're gonna be dynamically generating uh, these options, okay? So this is coming from the back end. I could have a hundred of these, and I could have a search bar and all that fun stuff. But essentially what you want is when you tap this, you want to add it to the list. In this case, we're using a checkbox tile, okay? So we want we have two actions on this. We have on toggled on, we're gonna update the page state. We're gonna add to list. We're gonna add this reference to the list. On toggled off, we're going to remove the user from the list, okay? All we're doing is, we are saying, hey, this is the user that's in this, this is the user document that we are currently tapping on, okay? Let's go ahead and remove this user reference from the list, okay? So toggle it on, add it to the list, toggle it on, toggle it off, remove it from the list. Now we are utilizing this page state because we don't wanna update a document continually, right? So. We're not going to add this one to the to the Firestore document. Add this one to the Firestore document, remove it, add. We're gonna do this on a state basis. And then on this button down here, this is when we're going to actually add those users to the list. So here, it, it looks really complicated. It's really not. It's saying, hey, if it's, um, if there's if there's at least two users, right? If there's If the number of list items is greater than two, right? Yourself and somebody else, then go to the next state stage in this action chain. Then it's saying, hey, is the chat reference set? So on this page, we're actually saying, you can actually come to this page from an existing chat. So you can add more users. Or you can do it a new chat, right? And it's just saying, is the chat reference set? Has this, does the chat exist? And we're trying to add users to the, li to the list of users. Or are we creating a new chat? So if the chat reference is set, we're gonna update the document here. Now, all we're doing is we're updating the user list with that page state. So this allows you to So here, I can I can come in here, I have a chat, I have this little dot. I have two users in the chat. I can invite users. So here, see? Andrew Daniels is the person I'm chatting with. I can add uh, Maurice Newsom, Raquel Rubonsky, and I can add them to the chat. Look here, now we have a group chat and we have multiple people, see? So this is the benefit of that. Uh, you, you can create a new chat, which just says, hey, there's no users in the chat, so let's add some users. Or you can have an existing chat where you can add users. We're using the same page. This is the same page. This invite friends is the same page. And we're, again, we're utilizing that friends list page state, okay? Now, when you are editing, when you have a chat reference, very important thing to note, 
Okay, when you're passing a document in to a page and you want to you want to set the page date. So here, chat ref is set, update the page date. Add, we're gonna add the users in the existing chat to the page date, okay? And then if you are not, if the chat reference is not set, we're just gonna add you, right? The, the authenticated user to the chat, okay? And then every time, you know, we're gonna add another person, and that's two people in the chat list. So that is how you can set up. And again, it's all based off of does this, right? So like on this container, we're doing some unique styling here. So fill color, border color, we're saying, does the list of items contain this ID? It doesn't have to be an ID, it could be a string, right? You could say like, hey, does this ID contain, you know, display name or uh, the option, right? Let's say it's a uh, catastrophe or it's tags, right? Maybe, you, maybe you're tagging uh, elements or maybe you're adding, um, oh, options to a list, right? You're adding, you want custom select options for um, an onboarding sequence where you're saying select your interests, right? Gaming, basketball, coffee, right? I wanna select one or many of those. And just we're gonna add those strings to the list. So we're just gonna say, hey, does the list contain this item? Then do a primary color, if not an alternate color, which is the border color in Flutterflow. Same thing, if the list contains the item, accent color, if not secondary background, which is our primary background. Uh, well, secondary background is our white. So that is how you can set up a custom select option or custom select list in Flutterflow. You don't have to do this with checkboxes. You could do this with the container. Um, all you would do is you would set up a, a initial action that says, hey, does this, does the list, does the page date list contain this item? If so, remove it. If not, then add it. Okay, so I hope this helps and I hope this helps you build more robust user experiences in your application. Sometimes choice chips, sometimes drop downs are not the, uh, the, the user experience that you want for your application. So this is an easy way to utilize page state or component state in order to create a custom select list.